Hey guys, uh, you guys ever just keep ammo like from old guns that you don't even own anymore? Uh, don't know, really know why, it's kind of like a small collection. Of course, I mean, there's a lot of here I still own, but there's a lot I don't. Uh, see, like, uh, what is this one here? This is a, uh, this is a 300, uh, this is a 300 Weatherby Magnum. You're not going to be able to see that probably. 300 Weatherby Magnum. A little red tip on it. I actually didn't own this, this gun. Uh, a buddy of mine owned one and he let me shoot it a few times so I just, I took one of the, the shells that he let me, that was going to let me shoot and I just kept it because I just wanted to keep it, you know, because it's big, bulky, badass looking. Like this one here is a, I think it's a 30 out. yes, yeah, it's a 30-06 Tracer round. Nothing special, you know, no 30 out 6 silver tip, ballistic tip, whatever. I still own 30 out 6. Uh, 7.62 by 54R. I think that's I think that's what it's called. For the Mosin Nugget, you know. Kind of a pissed off looking bullet. And there's others. There's another one. This is, uh, what is this? Oh, this is a 7mm Magnum. I had a Winchester. Uh, model safety in that quite a few years ago. A little 380 uh, Hydershock. A little Makarov, a little Blazer, uh, 9 by, what are they, 9 by 18? I can't, I can't see it, but I think, I think a Makarov is 9 by 18. That's what that is. And uh, here's that little 9 millimeter Remington hollow point uh, I couldn't find the other day. When I was doing that uh, response to looking, looking for me marbles, it done pretty damn good to be a value packed uh, ammo. You know, two two three. Here's a. This is the forty. What is this? A little lead, lead cased or lead with an aluminum case forty, four special. Uh, three fifty seven sig. I had a Glock. I think what thirty three. I think it was a Glock 33 one time I shot that, or maybe 32, I can't remember. Um, here's a 444 Marlin, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, 444 Marlin. That uh, I didn't have this rifle either as a buddy of mine, it's a lever action. <coughs> and he gave me three shells to shoot out of it, because I guess because they're so damn expensive. And I shot two and kept one. <laughs> Uh, just regular old plain old 44 Magnum. I don't own a 44 anymore. I still wish I did, but here's a 500 Magnum. I owned a 4 inch Smith and Wesson 500 Magnum a couple years ago. Uh, I bought one box of shells for it. <laughs> one box of 20 shells or almost 50 bucks. So, uh, I didn't keep him very long, but look at the difference in a 500 and a 44. Here's, what's that? Here's that 44. 44. 500 Magnum. That's a hell of a difference, ain't it? But uh, really the the meaning of this video is maybe you guys, can, sorry for hitting the camcorder, but can help me out. Now here's a 50 BMG. Now I've never owned a 50 BMG. But I bought, you know, like a relic. Not a, not a relic, but uh, at a gun show, this guy had like a box for sale. You just like different types of ammo. It's been shot. You can see the the primer there. It's 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 safe. It's filled with sand. But this was in the same box I bought one time, and this is the reason for this video. This one. Do any of you guys know what the hell this is? Here's the 50 BMG, and here is this one standing side by side. Look how much shorter this one is. They look to shoot the same bullet like the 50 BMG. Actually, this one you can actually just pull out. Watch this. There's the size of the bullet. It's huge. Probably about a 600, 700 grain 50 BMG bullet. But look how much shorter the case is. Like here's the neck to the 50 BMG and here's the neck to this one. Look how much shorter it is though. 
And you guys got a clue? You just pop this right back in. It goes right there. Let's see. Let's move this out of the way. Stand up there, sucker. All right, there's the difference in the two. Look how much shorter that is. And also, this one's got a red, it's got red paint on it, on the tip. I think you can see that. But anyway, <laughs> this is just a, what the hell is this bullet <laughs> video. I've had this for years, and uh, I, was going through, I was going through some of this a while ago and found it finally. I just always keep them in this little plastic ass little cup over here. But I was wondering, you guys know what this is? Or is it some sort of a homemade uh, thing here or something? Because I don't know. I've always found it interesting. The, really, the only mark on the end of it is a 764C. If that helps anything. And on the back of the 50 BMG is a 99 dash 9 with some kind of squirrely looking letters there. But anyway, that's it. I just want to know, just want to know if you guys knew what this one here was, or if it's like a homemade job, some sort of a wildcat or something. And uh, 500, 44 Marlin, 44 Magnum. All right, guys, if you know what this is or you think you do, hell, let me know, because I don't know. Me and a few buddies might try to figure it out, but hell, we can't. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys are smarter than we are. All right, take care, guys. See you.